In this video, we're going to learn about for each, which is a method. And the method calls a function once for each element in an array in its order. And please note that the function is not executed for array elements without values. So when we are looping through an array, instead of using the for loop, we can use for each loops, which looks much cleaner than the for loop and yields the same result. So I'm going to take that array of cars again. So just copy it in. And now let's create a for loop, a for each loop. And when we create for each loops, we have to assign them to something. So we're going to call our cars array and now dot for each. And now it takes in a callback function so let's say function and within here we're going to type in and within the function we're going to type in the iterator which I usually use the single word for what we're looping, looping through. So in the array of cars we're going to loop through each car. Okay. So now within curly braces we're going to console log car. Let's see what we get. So we get each car. Now we can also use the index of, so if I would now copy this console log and let's type in here actually a template string of, want to use the index of the car and let's type in con and the car itself. So in order for us to use the index, so this would prompt us an error, we need to call the index within here. So we also want the index. Okay, so we can see Tesla is zero. Audi, I am also console logging this. Let's take out the first console log and hit save. And now Tesla is zero, Audi is one, two is BMW, BMW, and three is Dacia. We can also call the array itself. So if uh, after the index, I would type in here the array, and I, I would call the array down here with a console log. You can see this loops now through, let me comment this out. This will loop through the array itself. So it will loop over the array four times. Now, instead of using here a regular function, we could use a arrow function. So let me do exactly the same thing as we did up here. So cars dot for each. And instead of having a function, a regular function, we can now type in parenthesis and arrow function and within the arrow function we'll call an iterator of cars and now let's console log car let's see what happens it results exactly the same thing this is where arrow functions are extremely useful okay so that's pretty much it for for each we'll learn more about loops further on in the course but for now, let's just stick with the basics. Okay, so see you in the next one.